This is our homeschool room tour. This is our music area where they learn how to play keyboard, um, the harp, the clarinet, the xylophone. It's a kind of cramped area. We tend to put stuff away when we're done with it. And we also do a little singing. And that's my daughter, Tajay. <laughs> And this is our exercise area. We do a variety of different things um, from spinal exercises, um, exercise ball, little light weights. Um, we also have different templates, activities from the Moore Clinic that tells us various different exercises we can do to strengthen your back, your core. Um, in your feet and this is the checklist which I eliminated so that we can continually reuse it reuse it make sure the kids do their exercises because technically this is our first day of school and we're starting everything over this is more like a sitting area where we come when we watch like educational DVDs we also do our exercises we sing and this is just a variety of DVDs and dance a variety of DVDs and this year we're going to incorporate Zumba to learn about 10 new dances to make sure that the children keep moving and keep their exercises now this is my area for my school room this is my area for my school room this is a wide view of it it's basically it's a good size um, and this is the door where we go outside to do like recess and different little activities um, outside. Now let's do get a closer look of my homeschool room or our homeschool room, room rather. These are different educational um, posters that I have posted on the wall because my kids are more visual learners. They um, tend to geared towards being able to see things more more hands-on so i have to have a lot of educational props and different things like that for them to be able to understand the information and keep it un keep it happy so these are just some of the things that we will be doing for this year this is a little torn now this is a little torn but it still works and this is also our um, area for like busy work folders or different things like that that we have and this is just like motivational posters dare to be different try to encourage them to embrace their embrace being different about being positive and smiling and this is my social studies history and geography um crate that i have all a variety of different activities um and stuff that we're going to do throughout the school year actually this is more than just one school year of work we even i even found um where's the world is karma san diego on amazon for like four bucks so we're going to be doing a lot of that and we're going to incorporate netflix and different other learning sources along with it to keep it exciting Okay, this is my bookshelf, and I have it organized according to subjects. This is my, as you can see, this is my math. We have a variety of different things, all different grade levels, because I tend to teach them below their grade level and a grade ahead, and sometimes a, a couple of grades ahead. It just depends on how they're retaining the information. Um, this is our learning resource. Um, register we use for money and different stuff like that real life things this is reading spelling language writing um, books area and stuff like that of course we have our maps and the seven continents and this is our science area we are a real big science family we love science so we do a lot of different things dealing with science and today um, not today but during our school year, we're going to be doing the human body, which I think is pretty cool. And they can't wait to get into it. 
Um, this is my crate for my art center. It's music, different things dealing with the Bible, Spanish, sign language, home economics, computer and health, a variety of different things that I pull from and different resources along with the internet. Now this is my two filing cabinets donated by my mom. And this is basically my area to, area to keep everything organized. Now, I keep my records and everything like that, school reports, um, things to use for uh, collages, um, their camera class, um, paper, just basically to keep things organized and to know where everything is. This is basically the art supplies. Okay, and over here, this is basically what we learn. Um, our biblical information that we learn well, I mean we have like a lot of stuff and I have actually have more than this um, these are my agendas um, quick science projects my agenda for the year um, and different other um, three ring binders that we're gonna need um, <clears throat> it's a little cluttered now <clears throat> excuse me I also have, you know, portable, a little clock so they can learn hands-on. Because like I said, my kids are visual learners. So I tend to have a lot of dictionaries. But I also have a lot of visual dictionaries. Which is a great resource. For example, it just shows everything in complete, vivid color detail. And explains it. It's basically self-explanatory. I love them. I have them from... I have it dealing with science, um, science stuff. It's just it's just a wonderful resource. My kids love Lego, so we have a Lego book, and they use it for all the charts and different stuff like that. These are some of my science material for projects and different stuff like that that we're gonna use. Crafts, Watchtower, and Awake magazines that we use for resources, which is, are very very educational and very good resources that are free. Of course, these are our Legos, and this is just different stuff that I use to keep things organized. And these are the children's baskets to keep their work that's done. They put it in there so I can grade it and keep it organized. These are some more learning and teaching posters that I have. And this is just basically an agenda that I've written, you know, so they can have a visual aid to know what we're doing on each day. Um, and then keep it up there. And this board actually is nothing but a wall panel that I got from Lowe's. And it is huge. It's 8 by 4 And I only spent like $11 for it because I was looking for a dry erase board. And basically... It's the same thing. It's just way, way cheaper for a fraction of the price. So I encourage anyone who wants a dry eraser board, you can actually get them to cut it for you, whatever length or shape you want it. And it's way cheaper. And it does the same exact thing. And we love it. Um, of course, we have a lot of games and different stuff like that, which I'm not going to show you during this video. But this is basically just a rough... Um, and very quick home tour of our homeschool room. Of course, I have, we use this for our reading. Like, we want to get comfy and read and different stuff like that. And it also stores our school supplies throughout the year. Oh, and I forgot to show you. These are my, I have to use these totes that has nothing but math things in it from hands-on learning with beads and um, measuring tools for fractions and etc etc i have so many different things um and art supplies for the year um like i said we're very visual people hands-on so i have to keep a lot of material in the home to keep them interested um basically my next video i'll be telling you how to get most of your school supplies or school material for free um, or almost free and where to look for it. well I hope that you enjoyed and this is our table that we use I forgot to tell you um, 